everybody, welcome to Children's Liturgy. It's Trinity Sunday today, and today is a day to remember that although we believe in one God, that God is equally the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And this is a really complicated and really difficult thing to understand, and even me as an RE teacher finds it quite difficult to understand. But we're going to try and explore it a little bit today as we listen to the Gospel, which tells us all about why Jesus came down to earth in the first place. So we're going to listen to today by doing our hands together and making the sign of the cross, the sign of the Trinity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we'll say together the sorry prayer. God our Father, you sent your Son to show us the truth and your Spirit to guide us in living out the truth. We are sorry for the times when we struggle to remember the presence of God within each and every one of us. Help us to recognise you and to love as you do. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. So we put a cross on our foreheads to say that we think about Jesus, a cross on our lips to say that we talk about Jesus, and a cross on our hearts to say that we love Jesus. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son. God gave his Son so that whoever believes in him may not be lost, but have eternal life. God did not send his Son into the world to judge the world, but to save the world through him. He who believes in God's Son is not judged guilty. He who does not believe has already been judged guilty, because he has not believed in God's only Son. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to ask you a bit of a strange question, but the answer is in the Gospel. What is the point of God? Why did God send Jesus down to earth? Why did God make the world? I'm going to repeat one of the lines from the Gospel. For God so loved the world. There, that's the answer. You've got it? I'll repeat it again. For God so loved the world. Got it yet? It's love. The answer is love. God did all of those things because he loves us. He loves me. He loves you. He loves everybody in this world. And that's why he created the earth. That's why he sent Jesus. Now the Trinity is the perfect example of love. Now what is the Trinity? Do you know? Well, the Trinity is the belief that we believe in one God, but God is the Father, God is the Son, and God is the Holy Spirit. He is all of those persons, but he is still one. I told you it was difficult, didn't I? I told you it was complicated. It is a very complicated thing to understand, and that's why we call the Trinity one of the mysteries of our faith because it's okay to not fully understand it. So one way that we can try to understand what the Trinity means and try to understand what it means that God is three different persons, but he is still one God, is that I am Caroline. My parents called me Caroline. They named me when I was born. And to them, I am their daughter. But I'm also mummy. My children call me mummy. And to them, I'm their mummy. And that's what they'll always call me, hopefully. But when I'm at work, I'm not mummy. I'm not Caroline. They call me Mrs McCauley because I'm a teacher. And to my pupils, I'm, I'm known as Mrs McCauley. So in the same way that I am known as Caroline, mummy and Mrs McCauley, God can be known as God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. When St. Patrick went to Ireland, he used this shamrock to represent the Trinity and to teach people about the Trinity. Because the shamrock has three separate leaves, but it's all on one stem, it's all one leaf. So when we think about, when we talk about God's love, we should think about all of those parts of God. God loves you so much that he created the world for you. God loves you so much that he sent his son to die for you. God loves you so much that he left the Holy Spirit to be within you and to work within the, this world. He 
have another brilliant illustration from the Zikavana, and it shows this idea of the shamrock, like I was saying, St. Patrick used the idea of the shamrock to teach people in Ireland about uh, the Trinity. And it has images to represent God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So you might want to print that off, off, off our Facebook page and perhaps stick it in your window, perhaps send it as a card like I suggested last week, or you might want to make it as a, a placemat so that when you're having dinner today with your family, you can remember, you can talk about God the Trinity because you've got this placemat made by yourselves and by Lizzie. Well, this is coming to an end and I think it might be a nice idea today to say the Apostles' Creed, which reminds us about those beliefs in God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. So you can either read along with me or just listen to the words. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. God of love, teach us how to love the world as you do. Help us to care for and respect the environment so that we may all live in harmony together, now and in the future. Amen. Let's finish our liturgy with the sign of the cross and the sign of the Trinity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much for joining us this week. I know it's been a bit of a longer video than usual, so if you've made it this far, then thank you. Remember this week that God loves you. You were made through love. You were made to love. So try and remember that throughout the week. Try and remember that you are on, on this earth to love others. Think of ways that you can do that. Think of ways that you can show that. Think of ways that you can teach others that. Have a lovely week. Stay safe and we'll see you again next week. Bye bye.